there, it's Paul here. Um, right, this week's project, uh, what I've done this week is I've been out and bought the Axe Minister Evolution Series compression pen mandrel. Um, before I open this, Axe Minister sell I think three different types of pen mandrels. There's the, the real basic cheap one for just over £20, this is UK pounds. They sell a deluxe one which has the nut on the end um, and still held up with the live centre uh, so therefore you're putting pressure on the actual bar itself rather than the work and for which I think was about mid £30 about £35 like that and for about £5 more you can get the Evolution series which um, thank you for everybody who's answered my questions on woodchuckers um, I did ask a question about this I opted for the Evolution series in the end, purely and simply because uh, the compression does actually go onto the work. So there's your Morse taper end, the various spacers, um, and then a live centre on there so that the work, the pressure goes straight onto your work rather than the actual centre bar. So hopefully um, it should be an awful lot better. So while I bought that, I also bought um, the expensive 7mm drill um, bit from Axe Minister as well. I mean, that was expensive. I think it was about £10. But again, recommendations on the various website, various videos and that I looked at, everybody always said, buy yourself a decent drill bit. Spend the money there. It is well worthwhile. So I don't have a drill press, so that I'm going to have to try and have a go at drilling the whole hole on the lathe. Um, I bought myself the, um, I forget what it's called now, the, the bit to, to trim the ends off uh, once you've got the, the, the brass bits glued in. I've also bought myself four pen kits, uh, two brass, two chrome. Uh, I've gone for the probably one of the cheapest ones I could find. They're the Euro twist pen style. Um, so I thought, right, buy cheap to start with. If you mess it up, then fair enough. Now, one good point I will say on these is with the Axe Minister website, I mean, these were, I think, like I say, about £3.50, something like that, piece. If you bought 10, you get something like 25% off the price. So, again, I want to see how much I use it, uh, if I can sell them. Uh, if it's something I can do a lot of, then I'll certainly buy them in the big quantities. I think the next price break is something like that, if you buy them in 100 uh, and I don't think you've got that much more discount so it just shows as well how much money a lot of these companies are making out of them uh, also as well I've got the bushing kit for these style pens uh, while I was online as well during the week I had a hunt round eBay um, for some pen blanks and I came up with these um, 48 pen blanks 8 of each type so there's 6 woods so there's 8 Oroco again apologies if I pronounced any of these wrong Eight walnuts, eight sapili, eight oak, eight beech, and eight tulip. Um, Fifteen pounds the lot, um, which I thought was actually a fairly good price. So they work out about thirty pence each. However, before they arrived, I started tr cutting up one of my pieces of spotwood beech, and I've come up with this. So I'm going to probably have a go at this first of all. Uh, it was still a little bit moist. In actual fact, it's twisted as well now, I can see. So I don't know whether that will be any good or not. Uh, time will tell. Um, it was still a little bit moist. Uh, I think it was about 13 14%. So uh, earlier today, I've been zapping this in the microwave for about 10 seconds of time. Surprising how much heat gets in there with 10 seconds and how moist it feels when after the 10 seconds. Let it cool and dry down and then give it another 10 seconds. But that, like I say, that has actually warped a fair bit. So I'm going to see first of all um, how well that drills and to see whether I can put the brass bits in there. So I may video that, I may not. So I suppose my first job, first of all, is oh, and also at the same time as well, Axe website do have usually all the all the manual downloads for the instructions for the pens so i downloaded this one printed off at work hence why it looks so good nice color laser printer and have the full instructions on here of what to do so i will be referring to these as i go along um very very good and detailed so for me first time ever turning a pen um 
I'm hoping that I actually come out with a success rather than something that's probably going to be thrown away. So enough for now. I'm going to start chopping this to length for the two brass inserts and then see about getting it drilled on the lathe. Right, so the first blank in the lathe, uh, which probably is not the best lined up, but we'll see how it goes. Good to me. That's not bad at all. That's the first one. cut uh, quite pleased with those uh, they look quite nice actually so my next job is to glue the brass inserts in um, and before we do that I'll just find a 80 grit piece of sandpaper scratch those up so that the glue have got something to stick to. So they're nice and rough now. Get rid of that. Now before anybody says I, I don't have gloves, the only glue I've got is the chestnut thin and medium sear glue so I'm gonna probably have a go with the medium first of all I've not even used any of the super glue so far uh, so this is the first as well um, for inserting uh, what I've found is an old file here which holds them a treat um, but at the same time the file will actually go all the way in so hopefully it's something now my only worry here is super glue obviously goes off fairly quickly so uh, all the videos I've watched is where people, when they've inserted them, have actually then rotated the piece around to obviously get as much glue around the whole piece as possible. So um, I'm also going to do these from the centre point. So I think what I'm going to do is the first one may go in fairly well straight. So I'm going to use the medium glue. I'll say, not even used these so far yet. And turn these around. Get a fair bit of glue on there. time I have got here. That's handy. It does actually twist as we go. It's just inside. Each end is inside. And that's the first one done. So leave that one to dry. the second one in. So I'm going to leave those to dry for a few minutes and the next job will be the barrel trimmer. So I'm taking this, I've only gone for the bog standard one for, for one thing they didn't have them both in stock and the good thing about these is you don't actually you can actually just use these in an ordinary drill because this piece here will just go straight down the center to keep it square keep it flush um, so that'll be the next job
Right, so while I've given the glue plenty of time to set out and just sharpen my skew chisel, uh, ready for turning. So I've loaded the trim and bit into my cordless drill. And the idea is to just slowly take it down um, to the point where you touch the brass. So don't hold your hands at the end because if you get down too far, you're gonna end up drilling the bottom of your hand, especially in the smaller one. As you can see, that's literally already there in the first place. So uh, need to trim both ends. So just keep going slowly. And there we have it. Have my two blanks ready to be loaded onto the mandrel. So let's go over to the lathe. Right, so I've got my blanks on my mandrel with the appropriate spacers. I haven't over tightened this. Um, obviously if it slips then I'll just look at whether I need to tighten it a bit more. Uh, let's start turning. <laughs> So we now have our blanks both down to round. And all I need to do now is take them down to the bushings. top there. I think the bushings are just about there so let's sand this down. CA. Now I haven't got the um, the um, I forget what it's called now the stuff to make it harden a lot quicker at the moment. So uh, I have actually got some on order. So I'm just going to have to do this slowly, just building up the the coats of CA on here, um, and just see how it goes. So. coats of CA and I've just finished it off there with some medium CA it's not the smoothest um, but having said that this wood has got a few chunks out of the lathe so I've just put a bit of waste wood in there the tip goes in first and hopefully just put a bit of waste block in there bring it up to it keep it lined up slowly press in and there's the first bit okay where we've got to be Right, so 
that's my first pen finished. And the more observant of you will notice that it's not Sport Beach, it's Oak. And basically I made a schoolboy error. Um, really, really annoyed because I think that that was gonna be a really nice pen and I didn't read the instructions properly. And the insert that goes in, uh, I read it as being going in 21 mil and it should have been left out 21 mil. So impossible to get out. So that's just basically ruined, which is why I bought some cheap pens. So the Oak one quickly turned that down. A um, Couple of things, I think I've actually just put this center band on back to front, um, cause it's got a little bit of sharp edge on there. And the other thing as well, I mean, if, I don't know if you can see on the, um, I think I've made this top a li just a little bit too fat um, because the, the clip is sort of like pushing out rather than being more flat. So uh, first pen, really, really pleased anyway. Um, so yeah, moral of the story is read your instructions carefully. Uh, as far as the pen mandrel, uh, absolute dream. Uh, really, really was worth the money. Uh, I've got two more pen kits left. Uh, I've got a gold and a silver, so I will be doing some more pens. Uh, obviously lots of blanks, so I shall be choosing some, some different woods as well. Uh, the finish wise, this one, a bit like the other one, I don't know, I probably had numerous coats of um, CA glue on there. Probably isn't as smooth as I'd like. Um, it's all right uh, for a first first pen, and I just gave it a coat of Canuba wax just to finish off anyway. Uh, but I seriously need to work more on me on me finishing as well. So the good thing about these, though, I mean, I will make these pens probably tomorrow. Um, the other thing I've noticed as well, you really do need to be down tight with the bushings because you do get odd little lip, little bits of lips. I mean, it's okay that way. The important thing is to probably not go under your size of your bushings because uh, at least with the wood, it goes over the over the top. Uh, that's the real main key, one on the bottom there. The top is okay, it fits a treat. Um, and I mean, your fingers will, don't really go down below that part of the nib anyway. So really, really pleased. And like I say, the good thing about, at least if I make several of these, uh, you can never find a pen in our house. One goes down somewhere and it just disappears. So hopefully with a bit of luck, if I make a few pens, we'll have a few pens to use. So if this is your first time here, uh, I do put up, put up regular projects. Uh, at the moment, I'm trying to do one a week. And please do subscribe. I mean, something different almost every time. Uh, for my existing subscribers, thank you, thank you very, very much. Uh, it's most appreciated for you to come back and your sub subscribing. I'd appreciate it everybody hit the like button hit the share button and please please do below leave some comments because i mean like i say i mean it's it's quick and easy to really turn these it really is uh the time i suppose the bit most time spent i think is trying to do the finishing uh, as far as putting it together as long as you read the instructions properly first even on the lathe uh no need for a pen press i haven't got a a wood vice um i'm going to probably pick one up when i go back down safe sometime because i know i've got one in the shed down there um, I think if you watch the Axe Minister video, they actually just put it together with a with a wood vice, um, which is a bit little bit quicker anyway, but really really easy to do, um, no problems whatsoever, and I'll just certainly look at, forward to doing some more. So thanks a lot for watching. Bye.